Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. If you're in the market for a like new Newmar Essex with a 4551 floor plan, please watch this video. I'm telling you, we are selling this coach for thousands less than it listed for. I think list price on a 23 model is over a million dollars on this coach now. Uh, this is a 22 model, 13,000 miles, 300 hours on the own end 12.5 generator. It's as new as they come, folks. We've went through it. We've detailed it. We've cleaned it. It's ready to go. Very little use and a huge, huge price savings off of the new price tag. Okay, 2022 Newmar Essex. 4551. This coach has the big X15 Cummins back here, diesel pusher on the Spartan K3 chassis, 20,000 pound towing capacity. I love the color on this one black with white, gray. The gray kind of fades into the black lines in places. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay. So let's talk about price. Please visit our website, chasecoach.com. We've got over 200 pictures on there, full listing price. If the coach is still available, a lot of times when, we, when I upload these to YouTube, sometimes in a week, sometimes in one day, we sell them. So go to chasecoach.com. That's C-H-A-S-E and then coach, C-O-A-C-H.com for over 200 pictures Full listing, specs, everything you need to know is there. Or give me a call. I would be more than glad to uh, to help you out. So um, we're going to take a little uh, stroll through the boxes, and then we'll uh, show you some of the interior. All right, so before we go through the storage boxes, I forgot to give my weather briefing. That's something I do every time. So today in Paducah, Kentucky, partly cloudy, Got the sun peeping out up there, 75 and a little breeze. Come on, it's nice. All right, so 2022 Newmar Essex 4551. We're going to go through the storage boxes. Um, the attention to detail on the Newmar coaches is pretty mind-blowing. And, you know, this is not a Prevo marathon. It's not a Liberty coach. But for, for what they sell these coaches for... I'm pretty mind blown at the quality, the attention to detail, uh, the components they're using, and and I'm pretty nitpicky, whatever you want to call it. I really, when I go, I see so many of these, and when I go through them, I notice little things. I'm like, wow, you know, I like that, or man, that's really cheap. But I'm really impressed with the Newmar Essex. Um, again, one thing I'm, I'm going to point out: look how big the windshield is. That thing's probably five and a half foot tall. Every bit of it. So plenty of um, of viewing room. Something else. Where are the wiper blades? Well, they tuck down in here, which again, I think is super cool because it somewhat blocks them from the sun just beating on them and, and drying out the blades. So I like that. The nose does push out. Um, it's hydraulic, all HWH hydraulics on this coach. So the nose pushes out. You've got the 12.5 Onan generator. Um, first bay is going to be on the driver's side underneath where you drive the coach here. Lots of electronics. Um, that's cool too. Again, little attention to detail, but spare fuses. I mean, you blow one, you come in, you, you know, back home or whatever, replace it. You've always got a very neat little organized place. I even thought that was cool. A, um, squeegee and brush for the windshield. Again, I mean, why not? You've got the space. Why not put it in there? So very easy access. Everything's labeled in that compartment. All Michelin tires. We've got 365 rubber on the front. Air ride chassis, of course, the K3 Spartan. Um, okay, let's talk about the battery bank. So this is on a sliding tray, which makes the batteries very easy to service. Something else. Kudos to Newmar. Well, let's say you do have to replace batteries. You have a battery wiring diagram. It's on a sticker in the belly compartment by the batteries. So uh, in this, you've got eight 
of the AGM 6-volt batteries, 3,880 minutes of reserve capacity at 25 amps. So that means if you were boondocking, you could run the heat and all the electronics probably for like two, two and a half days with no generator. Um, plus, with the solar charging on top, I mean, that's going to keep replenishing the batteries. So, uh, the next two bays are trays, and they are on sliders, so there's a little button. You just reach up in here and look here. So, it'll go out that way, and then on the other side, it will run it out the other side. That tray is about two foot wide. This one's about four foot wide. Same deal. Just press here, and it moves out. Let me show you how far it moves out. So, the, keep in mind, this does have one of the huge... I'm going to call XL slides on this slides probably every bit of 20 foot long, but the slide is out right now and look how far this comes out. Okay. So you can kind of see you got plenty of space to put your stuff on it and, uh, and load in, um, down here, you've got the Oasis. So this is an all electric coach. There's no propane on board, uh, meaning it heats off electricity or diesel fuel. The Oasis puts out 50,000 BTUs of heat. Um, that's enough to, everyone takes a shower, you've done dishes with the dishwasher, and I mean, you'll never run out of hot water. If you have fresh water hooked to the coach, or you've got, you know, I think it holds 105 gallons of fresh, I mean, that you'll have endless hot water with that system. Uh, down here, very neat and organized um, shore power bay. So, also, something else that I like, I'm pointing out things that I see that other manufacturers should take note on. In fact, I had a lady the other day, I sold an older Newmar Essex to her, like an 05, 06 model back about a year and a half ago. Well, she recently sold it. She came to me and bought an Integra coach, a newer Integra, sold her older Newmar. And as I was going around the coach with her, she said, where's the generator start button? And I said, I didn't think they ever put them down there. She said, oh, my Newmar had it. And she said, that was super convenient. You unplug from shore power and fire it up. So this one has it. I noticed that when I was taking photos of it earlier. And I like that. It's a really cool feature. So down here, um, automatic transfer switch. Um, looks like you got a 30 amp connection if you needed to hook your buddy to you or hook a trailer to you or whatever. Okay, let's talk about the water bay. So neat, clean, organized. I mean, look at the water header there. I mean, if you had a something break on the plumbing, Within seconds, you can take the little key that's hanging by the chain, that little red key, and shut off and, and repair. Or when you're winterizing it, look, I mean, the instructions are printed there. Again, I am mind blown at just the small attention to detail and just how far these guys have come. It's been a while since I've had a new Mars, so um, it's really neat seeing all the advances. Michelin tires on the rear, 315 rubber on the rear, 365s on the front. Big rubber all the way around. Again, I mentioned earlier, Spartan K3 chassis, which is the, the flagship model there. 605 Cummins with the uh, six-speed Allison. 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. So plenty of power to pull whatever you want to pull. 20,000 pound hitch. It's already wired for the Voyager camera if you want to put a camera on the back of your trailer. It's also got the air uh, brake system for like Air Force One or uh, one of the supplemental braking. Okay, here's a very, very major deal that I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Numar is the only manufacturer doing this. So, you know, in the back, like in a master bath, you will have an emergency window. Well, let's say a fire starts in the front of your coach. You're in the bathroom. You can't go out the front. How hard, have you ever tried getting out of a two foot by two foot window? And then at that, I mean, if the window's up here, if something happens, pretty good fall to the ground. I kid you not, folks, this is a door. This is a door, okay? One person on one of the forums I was reading last night said, heck, they used it to load and unload stuff out of their coach. I mean, it's not like an emergency door that you open at an office building and fire alarms start going off and people freak out. You just open the door just like a normal door. It's got a deadbolt and it's only got a latch on the inside. I'm going to show you when we go inside more about that. But 
Okay, so it's built that, you know, for two purposes. If something happened in an emergency and you had to get out of the coach, you can, and I think it's even got a ladder that comes down. I'm not positive, but I think you can literally open that and just walk out of the bathroom. So very cool. That is someone thinking extremely outside of the box. And I know we think fire, it'll never happen, but these are built by humans, just like you and me. Stuff happens, you know, components fail, whatever. We hope it don't, but I mean, occasionally it does. So engine batteries back here, fuel water separator, air dryer. These are the disconnects that you would kill uh, to kill the power to, that's what starts the engine, runs all your electronics up front. Uh, death fluid, which is fillable from either side. I really like that. Again, this is a tag axle coach. So you can see the dual Michelin tires there, and then this one's an air tag axle on the back. A little storage area. I love the pegboard. I don't know if that's been put in or if that comes in this coach, but I like that. Very cool for your maintenance stuff. Uh, this one's a manual slider. Some electronics, your controls for your awnings there. Plenty of room to put whatever you want to put. Does have central vac. That's where the central vac unit's located. Um, of course, this tray I've got slid out the other side right now, but uh, you get the principle there. You can press the switch up here and the tray will come out this side. Uh, Samsung TV, Bose sound bars throughout this guy. Another little tray there and same same uh, deal. You just press that and moves in and out. Um, something that uh, Numar recently changed is instead of this compartment being like three foot tall, I mean, you can only stack so much stuff on the tray, they put a little shelf in. Again, that must be people who camp a lot or who travel a lot that probably made a suggestion and what did they do? They listened. So, a uh, little tray, I know, not a big deal, but if you travel in one of these a lot or you plan on traveling a lot, you will appreciate that little shelf. So it allows you to put stuff on the bottom and then on the top. Um, of course, factory equipped with the Dometic electric cooler. Uh, you can set um, adjustable temps so you can make one a cooler for drinks of your beverage of choice. And then one of them you can turn into a freezer if, or you can do them both on a cooler. So... Um, window awnings, you can see, uh, Gerard patio awning, all LED lighting. The slides do go flush mount when you close them in. Uh, the big Gerard, the big uh, patio awnings, you can see there's one in the front, one in the back. Again, overly impressed. Um, I took 250 photos of this, which means I look at like literally every square inch of this thing. And uh, very impressed. So I'm looking for the buyer that's interested in a like new Numar Essex 4551 floor plan that is wanting to save thousands. When I say thousands, I know you could say thousands could be like saving 10 grand, 20 grand. I'm talking this coach is priced between four and 500,000 off of the suggested list of a new one. It's got 13,000 miles and it was just used a couple times. All right, let's take a look at the inside. All right, check out the steps. Another cool feature from our friends at Newmar. Yeah, so hydraulic, they go almost, I mean, I've got the air dumped out of the coach right now. As you can see, it's riding low. I've got it squatted. But I mean, that's within, I don't know, two or three inches, so very easy. The steps are nice and even. There's not one step that's three foot and the next step's two foot. Of course, keyless entry, this handle really neat how they made it light up. It kind of has like a spiral effect. All right, now the fun part. I've got the step switch off. You can hear it going back in. The interior. Okay, so this coach is designed, we'll start out by saying it's designed to comfortably sleep for people. You've got the king size bed in the back. You've got a sofa that a queen size bed with an air mattress folds out of this guy. So I wanna make sure we note easily sleeps for people. All right, let's start out with the cab. Um, fully electronic adjustable steering wheel um, tilt. Um, it'll come out to you, um, go back in, you know, telescope, whatever they call it. Um, so really neat there, all electronic, smart steering wheel. Um, two big screens here, one that runs your navigation, all your cameras. Um, you can see I've got the engine compartment up, so that's blocking part of the camera view, but 
Uh, very easy cab to understand. I think you could literally come in here and say, I've never drove a Class A motorhome before. Spend an hour or two with one of uh, with me or one of our guys and easily understand what you're dealing with. All digital dash. In fact, okay, we'll take light the dash up there. You can see all digital gauges, RPM, uh, speedometer, air leveling. You can do a lot and you, you control it right here from this little uh, push button deal on the right. All HWH computerized leveling. Um, this has comfort drive, so it has uh, seat and steering memory features, heated and cooled seats. So they're ultra leather seats with like an Alcantara, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, they're in the middle. It's um, for the cooled part. You can see it's perforated with the holes in it. But these seats, you know, you've heard of six way seats or eight way seats. I think these seats are like 50 way adjustable. I was messing with one uh, earlier and uh, they massage you. I even think they'll scratch your back. But anyways, full power, heated, cooled, like you feel like you're in a lazy boy driving down the road. Um, for the passenger, you've got your own little screen. So you can do navigation. You can look at camera views, which I mean, do right view, left view, front view. I mean, how cool is that? The technology is mind blowing in these. Um, up here above the driver's seat, uh, more control panels for your your water, your generator, your uh, heated floors. Again, very user-friendly. Some coaches, and I'm not going to go into detail on what brand. It really don't matter. I'm showing you this one right now, but I've been in some coaches that were like a little tricky for me to understand, and I feel like I've been around so many of them. It should be just, oh, yeah, here it is. But this one, very simple. Uh, power theater seating, so you just... Press the little guy here, and you can see it's coming out. Goes back in. Uh, the cup holders light up. Storage, all the factory manuals. Both sets original keys. So this is really cool. So um, the two there's two table leaves that I've put in. We well, can see the seam there barely. Okay, so you store those under the bed when you're not using them. The table slides in going down the road. What you do is remove this, so it's set up to seat. I mean, this is big enough to seat three people on each side, okay? Um, imagine the big booth at Texas Roadhouse. You and five of your buddies go. There's six people. This is like that size, okay? But you press this button. It's all electric. Watch it. The seat literally goes down, okay? Locks into position, and then it slides in. It is literally moving in right now, okay? So you move it in, and there's enough seating for one person super comfortable really two people could probably sit there um all villa all ultra leather furniture and you can tell a difference you know some coaches say leather furniture there is a huge difference in this material and some leathers that i've seen i think some leathers they call it leather and it's more like pleather it's plastic leather and there's a big 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 difference so all ultra all ultra excuse me ultra leather by villa very nice stuff um, this TV goes down, so it's got a big picture window behind it, but it does fall down uh, electronically, all controlled. Um, the cabinet finish in this, lots of storage. Um, something else I'm going to mention, the doors have magnetic holders. I love that. I feel like that's better than like the little felt or little rubber deals. Um, all electric coach, so you get a true induction two burner cooktop. There's no propane convection microwave oven big stainless sink and look at that kind of got a little cool shape to it um dishwasher got that so pull out this little drawer down here there you go he was kind of suction cup there but fisher pikel dish drawer very nice um like the big mirrors in it the color of the cabinets awesome kind of like a a dark it's it's really dark okay so the floors are kind of a lighter gray the furniture is kind of a pastel gray the the cabinets are dark they even went to the extreme of matching the cabinets on the front of the fridge so this is just a whirlpool residential fridge but they customized it by putting the cabinets on the front of it i think that's really neat um more cabinets here with the pull out pantry drawers very nice to have lots of storage kudos to whoever designs coach interiors because i mean they if there's a an inch and a half space somewhere they are using it trust me um one of the last new mars i had was a super c but i was very impressed with this door okay so watch 
you press the little latch. Look how it hinges. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's kick the lights on in here. We don't have any. Here we go. God, I, I, let me show you what I'm doing. There's literally a digital panel. You can dim them, turn them on. Um, so all Dometic um, macerator, the electric flush toilets. Uh, this is the half bath. So nice little mirror, vanity, medicine cabinet, some storage above, vent, um, power day and night shades in there. And now for the bedroom. Very impressive. Okay, so storage under the bed, full, real king size bed, sliding door for privacy. Here you just pull that down and move it over. Um, lots of storage there above the bed. There's also a little screen as you look up uh, to dim the lights, turn the lights, lock the doors, um, whatever you want to do. Another Samsung TV back here. Another control panel um, showing battery voltage, water levels. Um, floor heat, heated floors throughout. So lots of storage. And again, go to our website, chasecoach.com. You can look at a lot of photos. I know I, I try to kind of go through the videos pretty quick because I could spend hours talking about these things, but we try to keep it somewhat on a respectable time. Uh, 50 by 36 shower, okay? That's enough room for two people to comfortably get in there and take a shower, something you rarely see in, in most coaches. Uh, tile base, really neat drain. I like the teak wood seat that folds down. Overhead rain head with a shower one. It's already got the place for your soap. Uh, easy, easy controls to use. Um, another Dometic toilet. All electric flush. Controls over here on the wall. Okay, so literally you just, okay, unlock and you open the door and yeah, I mean, you're literally outside. I mean, it's kind of nice just opening up, let a little breeze in if the, the weather was right. Very, very neat idea, guys. Kudos to whoever figured that out. And I think there's a way this folds down and makes steps. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. I heard that. I haven't tried it yet. Um, big mirror area back here. Light, cedar line closet, shoe spaces for the ladies and men. I know how many shoes my wife has, and I mean, this is going to help a little. I mean, if we go on the road, this is not going to take a tenth of them with us, but it's better than them just being thrown in the closet, right? Um, central vac, all your accessories and stuff there. Um, another cool thing, just a simple idea. So when they build these coaches, they put the brand, the model number, and serial number of each appliance. So from your dryer, your washing machine, your toilets. Um, if you ever have an issue, you're not digging through paperwork or panicking, it's all right here. Uh, Built-in safe, another cool feature, dual vanities. Um, I don't know how many of you have ever camped or, or I'm gonna say glamp, this is like glamping, this is not camping, this is like ultimate glamping, but okay, so at your house, you probably have your own sink and your wife or your friend or whoever you live with, if you live with someone, has their own sink, right? In this, you have two. A lot of them only have one, but it's really cool to have your own sink. Maybe just a preference of mine, but I think that's a really cool idea. I also like the tile backsplash, um, the lighted mirror for the ladies doing the makeup or whatever, plenty of light in the back. Washer and dryer, all Whirlpool appliances, the fridge, the washer dryer, the convection microwave oven. Um, no carpet in this coach, okay? So even the slide outs, um, HWH slides with matching tile. And when the floor goes down, look at it. Yeah, it's flush. There's no ridge to step up on the slide and no carpet, okay? So very easy to vacuum, take a little Swiffer, wet jet or whatever you mop with and uh, keep it um, squeaky clean, we'll call it. Um, 150 gallons of fuel on board. Uh, I think 80 gallons of gray, 60 gallons of black. Um, I could go on and on and on. Again, I could talk about these things for hours. But I think this gives you a, a general idea of what we're looking at. I love the colors about the coach. I love the attention to detail um, with the Numar products. Uh, this is the first newer model, Numar, that I've had and um, impressed with a lot of different features. So 
Um, we deliver nationwide, we accept trade-ins, we've got some really competitive financing options and would love to uh, the opportunity to earn your business. So give me a call, we'll throw our number up there on the screen, subscribe to our channel, share it with your buddies, and um, come see us. We'd love to meet you and show you the coach. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motors Sports Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. And uh, stick around just a second. We're going to throw our commercial. We put together a little commercial just to show you our place and, and what we have. So stick around and we'll throw that on there. Appreciate you watching and have a great day. Till next time. All right. So I wanted to do what we call the theater mode up here in the front with the shades. Uh, the night shades are blackout shades, so it literally kills all the light from the outside. When I dropped these down, it gives you that rock star feeling. You know, you're at the concert, you walk around those tour buses, and all the shades are down, you can't see in. That's the feeling that, um, that you get. So complete privacy. Um, as you can see, when you press it, literally one button runs everything down at once. And something else is cool. And again, this is someone thinking way ahead. Um, when you press that, if the ignition's on, you press the like the blackout mode, it'll only lower this front one down to like right here because it knows the ignition's on. You're sitting here possibly driving, and it doesn't want it to come down, and all of a sudden you have a wreck. So, But then when you turn the ignition off, it lowers it all the way down. So super cool. Um, another thing is... Look at the charging. You can lay your phone on the dash there, or you can lay your phone over here on this one, and it charges it. So, really cool feature. Um, something else, check out the photos. This is like a little TV tray. It goes out and folds, create, or creates a little tray for you. So, um, I forgot to throw this in there. I wanted to make sure you saw it. And uh, so, just showing you the, the night uh, version, the blackout version, killing all the outside light coming in. Okay, so just finished up the video. One thing I forgot to do, and I mean to do every time, I want to show you with the slides in. So you've got probably a solid 10 or 12 inches, enough room to easily walk between the sofa and the theater seating. Again, down here between the kitchen and the little uh, dinette booth. Okay, so enough room to walk back and easily open and access the half bath. So, okay, so let's say we went out of the bathroom. We'll turn around, and again, it, there's enough room, um, but a lot of people want to see this, and I always forget to take videos or photos, so trying to do better at that, but wanted to give you an idea of how much room is in between going down the middle aisle here with the slides all the way in.